The following segment is sponsored by Smith Injury Law and 300hurt.com. When you talk to an attorney who's been representing injured people in our area since 1987, you know he is passionate about protecting people. We've got Richard Smith here from Smith Injury Law this morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Margaret. Um, the one thing that you're especially focused on, or one of the many things, you want people to have the right information. This is the kind of information that can keep them from damaging their case. And, you know, you take pride in representing the people and not the corporations, right? Absolutely. I've only represented individuals all my life. I've never represented insurance companies. I've got a lot of friends that do. The wrong with that it's just I've always I've just made my life's mission to help people who are injured in workers compensation claims car accidents and just claims in general like that I think there's a lot of big law firms representing these big insurance companies we need to be able to help the, help the common man as well. Yeah, and you had a client who was hit by a drunk driver one time, and he did not want to follow up with the medical care. And then this person later found out that there were some fractures involved. What happened there? What should we take from it? It's very important that if you're in an accident, you need to get checked out medically. And you need to make sure you're okay, because sometimes things can be found, like that example, where he had some fractures that weren't located because he didn't initially go to the hospital. You know, you need to get that checked out because you may have some injuries there that you're unaware of. And a lot of times people get, they feel the pain of the injury a day or two after the accident mm -hmm. because your muscles have to react and they contract. And that's when you start having that pain, not immediately on the scene. Yeah, we hear about that all the time. And, and really, it is easy to understand why somebody in an accident uh, might afterwards just say, I, I want to get out of here and go on with my day instead of getting checked out. But the legal takeaway is you don't want a gap in treatment. What's the problem with having a gap in medical treatment? The longer the gap in treatment, the more likely the insurance company is going to say, we don't think this came from the accident. And that makes common sense. If you go a long time without seeing a doctor, they're going to say, well, how do we know you didn't get hurt at home or you did something else to get hurt? Why are you suddenly now going to the doctor after you've waited several weeks? And sometimes the, the ERs tell people that. or They say, come back in two or three weeks if you're still in pain. Well, that just plays right into the insurance company's explanation about that. You don't want to be in a situation. Get checked out, get treated, because you have to document your injuries. If you're just laying at home, putting an ice pack on, doing home exercises, nobody knows that you're suffering. Yep, and it's not documented. Um, there is a section in your book covering exactly these points. It's in your book, 10 Critical Mistakes to Avoid If You're Injured in a Car Wreck. Tell us a little bit about why you wrote it. For this reason, primarily, that people make mistakes not realizing it's going to affect their pocketbook and their case. If you're injured by somebody else's negligence and you have an actual injury, you don't want to lose money. You want to get compensated for your pain and suffering, for your medical treatment, for your lost wages. And if you don't do the right things in your case, if you have long gaps in treatment, for example, or don't follow up with a doctor after the ER, it can cost you a lot of money. Yeah. Well, people can request that book from you. Really easy read. It's at Smith Injury Law. You can uh, help people in many practice areas, including personal injury, workers' compensation, car and truck collisions, and Social Security disability claims. Um, anything else uh, you want people to keep in mind before we go today? The main thing is to understand that we are here to help you. We don't work for insurance companies. We only work for individuals. And we're local. Uh, I've been in upstate South Carolina my entire career. Uh, I live in Spartanburg. I work in Greenville and Spartanburg. So it's better to get somebody, in my opinion, local who understands you, understands our local juries, understands our local doctors. And there's, there's no reason I can think of to go you know, out of the city, or out of the state to get an attorney to represent you in a case like this. Yep, and you can make people feel much more comfortable in this process. People can contact you by calling 300 Hurt or visiting 300Hurt.com. Richard Smith of Smith and Drew Law, thanks for the conversation as always. Thank you, Margaret.